so I'm so bad with these bump date things, you guys. So I'm going to do kind of wing it and do the best I can. It's been a crazy time. Lots going on. So, um, so today is going to be, oh, excuse me, is going to be my week nine to 10 bump date. So I am currently 11 weeks today. Well, yesterday, I was 11 weeks yesterday. Um, and today is May 20th, 21. So first I want to tell you guys, I didn't tell you in the last video, um, on my week eight, I graduated from my clinic and she, um, I only went there for blood, blood work two more times after I graduated. And that was just to keep check on my progesterone. And I officially stopped my progesterone at week nine. So, and that was because I landed up in the hospital again. So that is another thing in itself, which I will get into. Um, so let's start off by telling you my first OB appointment. So on week nine, I had my very first OB appointment. Um, so it was pretty much just to sit down, did a lot of talking. Um, they, they know my history, obviously. Um, so I was explaining to her some of my symptoms that I was feeling and I was having a lot of issues that day, a lot of pain, um, still spotting, still bleeding. And so she sent me for an ultrasound actually that day, same day. But let me rewind a little bit. So I went into the appointment and I asked, I had a list of questions, you guys. And I don't know if I've mentioned it into another video, but one of my questions is my facial hair. So I have PCOS, obviously you all know that. And so I have hair growth on my face and different parts of my body. Since I have been pregnant, it has been so intense. Like I have like a little five o'clock shadow now, so whatever, I'm just gonna embrace it because come to find out, according to my doctor, it ain't gonna get no better. <laughs> so it's just gonna get worse. So thank God for masks right now so no one can see my, my five o'clock shadow going on. <laughs> but, so I was like so upset when she told me that it is not gonna go away. <laughs> it's just gonna be intense because of my hormones. So yay me, that's fun. Um, and I had a couple of other questions I don't really remember, but that was one of my number one questions that I had. Um, oh, my nausea was the other thing. So she put me on Reglin, 10 milligrams. I could take up to four times a day. She recommended me starting it um, <clears throat> in the morning time. Like when I take my regular pills, just take it like a normal pill and then take it as needed during the day. Because my nausea, you guys, has been no joke. I have only thrown up once, but the nausea is insane. So I've thrown up once, and that was because this little baby inside does not like strawberries. I can eat them in anything. I just can't eat them fresh and whole, I guess, apparently. Because as soon as I did, I was in the toilet. So that was the first experience I had of that. So that was fun. I'm just happy it was it was strawberries and not like milk or something. Oh my god, that would have been rough. Um, but yeah, so I stopped my progesterone on week nine. And ever since then, you guys, I do not feel pregnant. I'm not gonna lie. My tenderness in my boobs have gone away. Um I just I I don't feel pregnant at all. Besides the nausea every now and then and you know. Other than that, I just, I don't. So that in itself gives me anxiety. I have really bad anxiety, you guys. Um, but let's discuss my trip to the ER again. So I was home by myself. And it was a Sunday, I believe. And it was after my appointment with my OB. It was a couple days later. Oh, I know I'm getting so sidetracked, but I wanted to show you my OB appointment, which is the baby. This was, let me see, this was the baby, which you guys know I'll send you a, send, put a, a real photo, but the baby's upside down. So 
This is the head. That's the arm right there and the little feeties right there. So that's what it looked like, but the baby's upside down. So, yeah. So I will take a snapshot of that and a really good one so you guys can see. Um, okay, so back to the hospital. So I went to the hospital. Um, I actually went, it was the last day of my progesterone. And this is why my doctor stopped me on the progesterone because she wasn't going to, but she decided to stop me, stop me having, taking it because she wanted me to take it for one more week. So I, I wasn't feeling right, um, that day. And actually it was not on a Sunday because I was wondering why I didn't have Johanna. Johanna was at state testing in school, um, that day because I dropped her and her friend off that morning and I just wasn't feeling good. Like my eyes started, started getting blurry. Um, I started getting dizzy, like lightheaded. Um, so I dropped them off at school. I called the on-call doctor because this was too early. The doctor's office was not open yet. Um, and then I proceeded to Providence to um, get my blood drawn. So I was telling the lady, the, the tech, the, the, the clinic, that how I was feeling. And she said, Alicia, if I was you, go to the emergency room. She goes, don't wait for the doctor to call you. You don't want to take any chances. And I was literally right down the road from from the woman infants hospital. So I landed driving there. And as I was driving, it got worse and worse. I lost complete eyesight in my left eye. By the time I got to the emergency room, I could barely stand. It was so intense and so bad. I was very weak. I was dizzy. Like I said, I can barely see. I had no sight in my left eye. Um, it was a point that they had to actually put me in a wheelchair and wheel me, and they took me in right away. It was definitely the scariest thing. So I had, like, two nurses, two doctors, two everything coming in at one time. They did an EKG. They were doing all kinds of testing. They got an IV in me. They gave, started giving me fluids. Um, and then the nausea started. I started dry heaving. Um, so it was... It was really intense, <laughs> really scary, really intense. I was by myself. I couldn't get a hold of nobody. Um, it, it, it was awful. So I'll make a long story short, it appears that I was extremely dehydrated. And because of my weight loss surgery, this baby is taking all of my nutrients. So I can only eat so much at a, at a time um, without before I get full. And so apparently... The baby is taking everything I eat first. When I, when I eat everything, the baby takes all my nutrients. So, yeah. It's, and I, I just get what's left over. So it's causing me to, um, my body to malfunction, I guess, so whatever. So now I have to see a high-risk OB, which I have not seen yet to date. Um, my appointment is actually tomorrow. And uh, kind of go from there and see what we can do. So that's pretty much what has gone on so far. Um, I have stopped bleeding the past, like, two weeks. So I'm not bleeding anymore. Um... And we found out the gender of the baby. So we know what the sex is. And I'm pretty sure the next video after this will be the gender reveal. Um, so it's very exciting. We did the sneak peek, which I think I explained in another video. Um, I also just went and did the non-invasive um, genetic testing. I did that, so I should get the results with that and confirm the gender as well. But anyways, so that's that's my update right now. Uh, I don't really got nothing else to share that I can think of at the moment. So until the next time, you guys. And the next video will be amazing because it is the gender reveal. And I think my idea was perfect and I love it and I would not change a thing of my gender reveal so that will be the next video you guys so you guys have a great day